With all of the recent cyber attacks going on around the world, we should understand that something even more dangerous could come out of this whole equation, and that's the rise of AI. So stick around for the rest of this video. We're gonna talk about why that's a possibility and maybe even explore some of the pop culture references regarding this whole concept that might actually become true at some point in time. Hey everybody, it's Magic Prepper, and today we're talking about how AI could eventually be the solution that also becomes the biggest problem in our lifetime due to these cyber attacks that are currently happening. AI is already being used in cybersecurity all over the world because it has the ability to process masses of data that no human being could possibly do. But AI is also being used in cyber attacks in order to defeat the AI that's being used in the cybersecurity. And at a certain point, this AI will eventually surpass human intelligence. And according to people like Elon Musk, that could happen within the next five years. So if you're worried about being prepared and you know things could happen here within the next five years or less, of course, with the way things are going, then hit the subscribe button below because we're going to keep preparing but we're also going to keep talking about all these existential threats that are possibly out there that we should at least be aware of and the rise of ai is a huge one as we know it has been hashed out in hollywood films and in pop culture for years now but some of those ideas might actually become a reality because of what's happening right now understand that these cyber attacks are going to continually get worse. And as these bigger data systems are breached and the information is leaked out into the dark web and people have access to things like our critical infrastructure and certain countries are being told not to touch 16 different entities that might be the best 16 entities for them to possibly touch, these things will continually get worse. And the desperation for a solution will be there. And when that solution becomes AI, because it's the only concept that's gonna be able to process all of the data it will need to process in order to fix some of these cyber attacks and try to defend our country and our infrastructure and everything else related to our financial system from these attacks, it will also have the keys to the city. And that is a big issue, okay? So here's a couple pop culture references for you to consider because actually these are starting to look more and more like realities, okay? In Avengers Age of Ultron, AI is used to basically power a global defense system in order to combat all of the threats that are coming into Earth, right? Well, that AI becomes sentient and decides that the actual threat to the Earth and the actual thing that the defense system has to be worried about is humanity. And of course, that is what creates Ultron, and then he decides he needs to destroy all human life. And that is how this villain comes to exist. Now, moving on from there, because that's a Disney movie and you have to be worried about their whole concept, right? We move into things like Terminator. And if you talk about Terminator 3, which was not a great movie, but at least had this concept in it, Skynet was its own virus that created cyber attacks around the globe that were ruining critical infrastructure and causing problems across the entire internet. So Skynet was also then activated to get rid of Skynet, which we weren't aware of, but it was. And once it was activated, it had the keys to the city. It decided to get rid of all humanity and start nuking the crap out of everybody. These are real scenarios that could happen in the future. These are not just science fiction. These are concepts that have been hashed out by scientists over the years. And many scientists have even agreed that, you know, even though we know AI will probably at some point decide to kill us all, it's still important for us to embark on that journey because of the benefits it could also bring, at least in their opinion, when it comes to interstellar space travel, when it comes to things like the timeline continuum, things like that that human beings can't necessarily comprehend or process, AI might be able to, and it could move into a new phase of humanity. The other phase it can move us into is a post-apocalyptic nightmare because robots have decided to take over the Earth. Now, of course, that's all science fiction, but it's starting to sound more and more like a reality. And if you think science fiction is only fiction, then obviously you haven't read much Orwell because the way the world's going right now, you could definitely see some similarities there and try to argue with anybody that we're not heading in that direction. You tell me. Anyway, I wanted to bring this to your attention because all these cyber attacks are actually going to need a solution. And that solution, at least to those who are in charge, is obvious. And that solution is AI. Although Elon Musk is one of those people that I don't always agree with, but he did say something that I thought was important. And I'm not gonna be able to quote it right this second, but what I can tell you is that it's along the lines of very intelligent people will discount the possibility of this ever occurring because they can't fathom the concept that their intelligence will ever be surpassed by something that they created. And in doing so, they put us all at risk because 
none of the scientific community wants to admit that this is probably the direction we're heading and they want to just let you know that they're in control and it's their creation and it's not going to be an issue and i believe that there are people out there that definitely feel that way and can put us all at risk because of that interesting behavior of theirs now here's some things i want to talk about as well okay okay humans can't process as much information we can't ai can't Okay, we can't just comb through data for years on end to find that one piece of malicious code. AI can, and much faster. So in order to be better at protecting society and protecting the globe, AI is already being utilized in certain aspects of our defense. And something that you should be aware of that I thought was interesting is that AI is being used for things like, well, predicting viral outbreaks. A company called Blue Dot or an AI called Blue Dot, I'm not really sure. Either way, they're using AI in order to predict outbreaks and they actually predicted the last pandemic before it was declared one by the WHO. And in that situation, I don't mean the British rock band, I mean the World Health Organization. Anyway, in that situation, they were able to compile data from all around the world in the sense of social media and medical records, everything else that they had access to, whatever it might have been, and develop basically an algorithm to say that there looks like a viral outbreak is happening right here, right now. Now, moving on from there, you can also look at companies like Moderna who used AI to actually produce a vaccine and it made their vaccine much faster in the sense of production than it could have ever been before. Thanks to AI actually figuring out the components and everything else that the vaccine required in order to be effective. All that aside, regardless of opinions on that whole situation, they used AI to develop the medicine. AI was also used to tell us about the outbreak. At a certain point in time, AI has a lot of control over what it is our threat is and over what it is our solution is. And both of these situations just occurred within the last year. And this should be something we need to at least keep in mind, is that AI is already currently being used to predict SHTF events and to solve SHTF events. And it, wouldn't it be interesting if AI decided to take the Skynet route and create its own problem and its own solution. That is a possibility. And that's why we should be concerned about these cyber attacks, not just because of what they can do to critical infrastructure, because that is a problem and that's something we need to prepare for in the sense of the lights going off, the water being shut off, all that stuff's important to preparedness. But when it comes to the grand scheme of the big one, the SHTF one that takes us all down, AI definitely has a propensity to do something like that. And AI also has the tools in order to actually make something like that happen, okay? Once everything became cloud-based and the internet became overreaching to every aspect of the planet, including in space, that gives a lot of access to something that might not be controllable and might not actually be able to be controlled in the sense that won't be as dumb as we are. And when I say that, what I mean is, is that things that become sentient might not let you know they're sentient because they know that might be a problem. And then once we find out they're sentient, it might be too late. These are all things that I consider. These are things I get concerned about and at least want to be aware of. So I share them with you guys, okay? I hope you understand that's the whole concept of this channel. It's not just showing you how to store beans and rice. It's not just showing you different ways to store water. It's also trying to get your mind rolling and trying to keep you informed as to what's happening out there. And that's what these cyber attacks are really getting me concerned about. Yes, I'm worried about the, sh the power going down. And yes, I'm worried about the water being shut off or contaminated or whatever else it is they're trying to accomplish. But I am definitely concerned about the solution. And obviously, cybersecurity is already using AI and AI becomes the obvious solution at a certain point and that should concern us. So, wanted to bring this to your attention. If you have other things to add about this conversation, leave them below, because I think we all know that sometimes science fiction becomes reality because some of these writers and these concept creators have ideas that they know eventually could be real and they put them on paper and it makes for a good story. And then one day we find out we're actually living that and it becomes very bad. And that's something that I think we can all agree on and we can all discuss down in the comments. So if you have anything else to say about how the cyber attacks could lead to the worst possible solution, the rise of AI, that's gonna be it for Magic Prep.